for truth, there is only one answer. The Apostle Paul wrote in Colossians chapter 2, this warning to the first century church. This is verse 6. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus. Notice he was speaking to people that had received Christ Jesus the Lord. So walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith. Now notice in Ephesians 4, he said there's one faith. And here in Colossians 2, 6, he says be established in the faith. As you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Then he said beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. The New Young's literal translation says, in regard to verse 8, See that no one shall be carrying you away as spoil through the philosophy and vain deceit, according to the deliverance of men, according to the rudiments of the world, and not according to Christ. The New English translation says this, Be careful, lest someone shall be the one who takes you captive. So the apostle here is writing that there were some that would be taken away from the faith. They would be taken as captives or they would be spoiled through the philosophies of men and not after Christ. The apostle Paul also addressed the churches of Galatia in Galatians chapter 1 in this way. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert or twist the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And as we said before, so say I now again, in the point of emphasis, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Further, the apostle went on to explain that his doctrine was not of man, but rather it was of God. In verse 11, Galatians 1. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the apostle who wrote 13 or 14 letters in your New Testament. And one half of the book of Acts focuses on his missionary journeys. But he had a very narrow view of the gospel. How narrow was it? He said that if anyone preached any other thing, man or angel, that they would be accursed. He was so confident in his gospel that he preached, that he said, the gospel that I received, I did not receive it by man, nor was I taught it, but I received it by a revelation. He is the one that wrote Ephesians chapter 4, that said there is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. One, the number one, 
is very narrow. There is no room for another. And in the writings of the Apostle Paul, he made it very clear that the gospel he preached, that the faith that he had, that the God that he served, that the baptism he was baptized with, and the, the, faith, the calling that he had, and the body and the spirit were just one. There was no other. One church, one God, one gospel. Southern Oaks United Pentecostal Church.